Sometimes when you are doing a math problem, you do not need to know the exact number. Knowing about how many is okay. For instance, a word problem may ask, if I had two cookies and Mrs. Zachman had 15 cookies, about how many cookies do we have all together? In this problem, we need to know something called estimating. When we estimate, we make a decision of about how many of an item there are. Estimating is making a close guess about the actual value of something. In the case of the cookies, we can guess that since Mrs. Zachman had 15 and I had 2, the total number isn't going to be many more than 20, but it's obviously going to be more than 15. We could estimate that we have about 20 cookies. One way we can estimate is using a strategy called rounding. Rounding is like riding a roller coaster. Imagine that the numbers are lined up going all the way up and down the biggest hill of a roller coaster. See how the zero is at the beginning of the big hill? The five is at the very top and the 10 is at the bottom. When you use rounding to estimate numbers, it is as if the number is a train on the roller coaster track. What if you have a number three? If the train makes it up to the number three and stopped, what would happen? It would slide backward down toward the beginning or the zero. The same works for the numbers when rounding. You would say that three is closer to or about zero. This is because the number isn't quite to the five. It would slide back to the zero, so that is what we round the number to. However, any number that is five or up on a roller coaster would roll to the number 10. So we would round five, six, seven, eight, or nine up to a 10. Let's try a few. What whole number would you round six to? Imagine the roller coaster with a zero and 10 on either end. Remember that if a number is zero to four, we round down. If it is five to 10, we round up. Considering six is higher than five, we round up to 10. How about the number 22? For this number, I picture a roller coaster with the 20 at the beginning and the next biggest group of 10, which is 30, at the bottom. If the train goes up the roller coaster and stops at 22, what would happen? It would slide back to 20, so the answer is 20. Try these, 36. We would round it up to 40. 54. 54. Round down to 50. 88. Round up to 90. And 75. Round up to 80. Finally, we can use rounding to make adding quicker and easier. And we can give an answer that is about the correct answer. Let's think about it. Mrs. Wolf made 32 cookies. Mrs. Zachman made 66. About how many do we have all together? What is the answer using estimation? 32 is between 30 and 34, so we round down to 30. 66 is between 65 and 70, so we round up to 70. Then we add 30 and 70 together to estimate that we would have about 100 cookies. We use rounding to make an estimation.